So first things first, if you guys have any videos of your matches that you lost and you guys want me to go over and I can like cover all the things that you did wrong and that you need to improve on, then send them to my email. I'll try to make a video soon doing that, but I think that that would come out really good. But today, as you can tell by the title of my video, I'm talking about limitations, self-imposed and non-self-imposed. There's only two types. Now for a long time, all my limitations were self-imposed. I have a little story for you guys. A long time ago in like the early 2000s, my dad would have to work back and forth from here and another country, a third uh, in South America, he was in Colombia, but he would have to work back and forth, okay? And one time he was over there working and he was at a stop sign and an 18 wheeler comes in, turns too sharp, uh, he's at an intersection, right? He can go straight or take a left and then an 18 wheeler is coming this way. Turns too hard to the left and the backside swings out, smacks my dad and he rolls into a ditch and it, it crushes his elbow and his arm has to get amputated from here down. My dad has one arm. All right, understand that. Now, a self-imposed limitation would be someone taking the pain medication, going home and just taking it and being like, I only have one arm, what can I do? There's nothing I can do, there's nothing to do. When in reality, you're only limited to what your body can physically do and your, men uh, your mentality. My dad didn't sit and mope he didn't complain, he didn't cry, he didn't, he got off the, he got off the medication as soon as he could and he immediately, immediately went to work. Started a business and that's what brings you guys all of this beautiful stuff, right? My dad's hard work brought me to this point. All right, so understand that. If a dude with one arm can become a janitor, start working by himself, get accounts, become a salesman, like run a whole business with one arm, then you can stop being a pussy and switch from a single leg to a double leg. You know what I mean? Actual limitations are gonna be forced upon you. Like, there, like there's nothing you can do about an actual limitation, right? An actual limitation is, let's say you're trying to increase the, your ability to run. You're trying to make it better. You do that by reaching your physical limitation. Not your, not your self-imposed limitation, not like you don't just run until you say you're done. You run until your legs can't pick you up any further, until you fall. That's how you improve. Pushing yourself to your limit, and then the next day, you improve. Another self-imposed limitation is like setting up a shot, taking a shot, and getting stuck on a single leg, getting stuck on a double leg, getting stuck on a high crotch. Okay, that's a self-imposed limitation. Your body is capable of doing much, much more. You're just being a pussy and you're scared of getting tired. Okay, if you get stuck on a single leg, that means, and you're feeling too much resistance, that means it's time to switch to a double leg or it's time to, uh, get in the dogfight position or to get a western hook or to do something else you have to move forward you have to try something different right your limitation will be forced upon you but until it is forced upon you you have to be doing everything you can everything you can being afraid of getting tired is something that gets almost every single wrestler. Being afraid of getting tired is what gives your opponent the time to think and react to the move you're trying to accomplish. Does that make sense? So if you take a shot to a single leg, right, and you don't have a quick finish, you're afraid of getting tired, and you don't hustle, you don't get to the position as quickly as you can, it's going to give your opponent that one or two seconds to think, all right, cross face, sprawl, toes down, wizard, you know what I mean? Like, it, it gives him the time to think and assess the situation. You don't want him to have any of that time because that is very, very, very valuable time. The time that you have when shit's hitting the fan, when the wrestling actually begins, not when you're just playing in the call of tie. The, the amount of time that you have when shit's hitting the fan is very, very valuable. You have very little of it, very, very little of it. So understand that, be aware of that. Stopping right there is a self-imposed limitation. Trying to make things happen until your arms give up, until you can't, like I know everyone's done this, until you've done some, until you've been wrestling, until your hands can't open and close. That's an actual limitation. Don't let your mental ability be outpaced by your physical ability. Every day in practice, you should be chasing to meet your physical potential, your physical maximum, 
all right? Every single workout, every single drill, unless you're like literally learning technique, you're learning new technique, then you should be doing this to the point of where your body is failing, to, your, to the point of where you can't do it correctly because your brain is try, trying to make your muscles move too fast. I understand this is very, very complicated and it's a real tough thing to grasp, but the difference between meeting your self-imposed limitations and meeting your actual limitations is the difference between being someone who places second and someone who wins a tournament. I want all my viewers to do well and you only get better. You, you can only improve the most by seeing what your most is. You know what I mean? Humans are this amazing, amazing creature where we can be faced with any sort of challenge. We can learn anything that another human has learned and we can improve upon it. We can look at anything, we can look at anything and adapt. All right, we are very, very good at adapting. So when you meet your actual physical limitations, not your mental limitations, not when you give up, not when you're saying you're too tired, when you're actually too tired to move, when you're actually too tired to lift that dumbbell up, when you're actually too tired to pick a foot up in front of you, when you're too tired, when, you t uh, when you're too tired to level change and shoot and you start vomiting, when you're too tired in wrestling, I'm telling you your eyes will start seeing black spots. You are going to get off of someone from wrestling and you are going to be breathing like <gasps> for a fat minute and you're going to be sweating bad. So remember, in practice, meet your actual limitations, not your self-imposed limitations. Don't be a pussy, get better at wrestling. If you guys like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, I post a new video every single day. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.